Hi everybody! So today I'm so excited to bring you this cute little romper. Um, it's so hard to see the detailing in this um, light, but there's V's right here that have tiny little, it's like a lace type thing going on. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it is so adorable. Um, so anyway, we are going to start in on this and what we're going to use is uh, one actually I mean I just started this and this is how much is left There's so much left with this so you can still make bonnets wraps whatever you want um, so one skein of drops melody or similar 50 gram weight yarn um, you will need three knitting needles two ten and a half and one ten and a half or smaller um, because you're gonna use one as a placeholder for the leg part uh, when we get to that or the shorts part because these are actually shorts um, your tape measure, scissors, yarn needle, and a crochet hook, probably size five to six will be sufficient to make the little chains here. Um, and I'm super excited to share with you guys my knitting bullet journal. Um, so I will be using this as we go along as my guide. And so basically in my journal, I put like materials measurements and my instructions as I go down and um, so I can photocopy this if you guys would like and um, put it with the pattern that I will drop down in the uh, description so um, yeah if you guys want to see my knitting how I do my knitting bullet journal uh, let me know and I'll post another video of that but basically I have my instructions and then I have the uh, design that I've made so yeah Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is cast on 17 stitches. So we're going to leave about 2 to 3 feet of yarn and we're going to do the long tail cast on method. If you don't know how to do it, I'll show you right now. If you do, just fast forward through. So basically, you take your two fingers and spread the yarn apart and then take your bottom fingers and hold it to make a diamond shape. Then you take your needle Hold it like that so you can see what you're doing. Take your needle and put it under the yarn closest to you on your thumb. Then take your needle and put it under the yarn closest to you on your pointer finger. And then pull it through this whole thing. So now you have two stitches where you had put the yarn over before. So let's do one more slowly. So we make our diamond. Take the yarn underneath the thumb closest to you, take the yarn underneath the pointer finger that's closest to you, and then pull it through the entire thing. That is how you cast on. And we are going to cast on 17 stitches. So we have three, so meet me back here at 17. <laughs> Okay, now we will begin knitting. <clears throat> if you know how to knit and you know how to purl, go ahead and knit this row and then purl the next row and meet me back here. If you don't know how to knit, I will show you right now. You stick your second needle underneath this yarn here that's going across the top of the needle here and push it behind. Take your yarn and put it around your other needle, hold it tight here, and then push it through and then knock that stitch off okay I'll show you one more time so you take your needle underneath the front part of this stitch take your yarn around 
and then stick it through. Okay, so we're gonna knit this whole row. Okay, we're on the next row, and now we're going to purl. Take your needle and put it under the yarn going this way and on top of this needle. Then you take your yarn, put it around just like the other, but this time you push it through this way. And I'll show you one more time. So basically, you take your needle, put it under this yarn here on the top, and then you take your yarn, put it around, and then push it through, knock your stitch out. And you're gonna do that all the way down this row. And then we're going to get into the fun part, <laughs> which is the design. Um, so if you have not seen the other romper that I made with no design, then you might wanna start there if you've never knit before. Um, this is definitely a beginner project too. Um, that one is easier though. So both beginner projects, one easier than the other. Okay, now I am going to start with my pattern. So, let's see, I have to cast on, I've done this, I've done this, and now we're going to our pattern. So basically, we're going to knit one, two, three, four stitches. Then we're going to yarn over, which is very easy, and then we're gonna knit two together, which is gonna count as a stitch. And then we're gonna knit one, two, three, four, five, six more, yarn over, knit two together, which is gonna count as one, and then knit one, two, three more. So it's like four, basically, even though we're knitting two together, um, we count it, I'm counting it as one on the pattern here. So let's knit our four. One, two, three, four. It's important that you count while you're knitting when we when we're doing this because if we don't count while we're knitting, then we can get off. So now we're gonna yarn over. All we have to do is take our yarn and pull it over. That's it. Now we're going to knit two together. To knit two together, you just take two stitches. And if you can, this yarn is so difficult, if you can get your needle in there. <laughs> okay, knit two together, which counts as one. And then we're going to knit how many more? One, two, three, four, five, six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh no, I'm a very slow knitter. Okay, then we're going to yarn over. Then we're going to knit two together. So, yeah, one, two, right here. Okay. And then I think we're going to knit three more. Yep, one, two, three. One, two, and then three. 
Okay. Then we're just going to purl all 17 stitches. Oh, I'm going to mark off that I did this and I am purling right now. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. If I don't <laughs> keep track of what I'm doing, like I don't, <laughs> I don't have any idea where I'm at. <laughs> so even in the middle of doing stuff, so I just have to mark it off. I do have fibromyalgia. They do say there is such a thing as fibro fog and I believe that's definitely true in my case. So Okay, this is where the yarn over is, our first one. So that's why this is going to look different and feel different. It's okay, because it's creating a hole where we, um, to make our design. So don't worry about it. I swear I'm gonna learn how to knit Continental one of these days, or at least faster this way, <laughs> because this is the pits. I think I need to put that on one of my goals to learn how to do that. And to actually work at it and practice it. Don't see now this yarn. Okay, I think that's just one all together. Okay, let me count and make sure that I didn't mess up there at the end with this little thing. Okay, good. Okay, so I want to go ahead and show you where we yarned over there's going to be a hole because that's going to make our design. Okay, so now that we're done, we are, okay, one, two, three, four. We just finished row four and now we're on row five. I guess I could have numbered these down the side. Okay, so now we are going to knit one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to do our yarn over. Let me make sure it's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to yarn over, and then we're going to knit two together. Okay. Okay, so we knit two together here, so that leaves, or sorry, we knit two together here, so it leaves us one, two, three, four, Four more knit stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, then we're going to yarn over. We're going to knit two together. Okay. And that's going to leave us one, two, three, four more stitches. And that's what we have left. So good. We're right on track. One, two, three, and then four. OK. 
Okay. Okay, now we are going to purl the back. We are now row seven. We are going to knit one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> together and then knit one and two. Knit two together. Knit two. Bring the yarn over. Knit two together. And then we're going to knit one, two, three, four, five. Should be five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's what we have left. Good. I'm always so nervous I'm going to mess up and then not be able to figure out where I am and then not be able to fix it and have to start all over with a pattern like this. Okay. And we're going to purl the back row. We are now on row nine. We are going to knit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Time to yarn over, knit two together. Okay, I think that's all we do on that one, right? Okay, yarn over, knit two together. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six is what we should have left. And that's correct. Three, four. just finished up nine we're going to add on 11 stitches before we begin purling so the way we're going to do that is you just take your yarn and you make a little loop like that and you go like that so that's one two three, four, five, six, seven, 
Oops. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And now we're going to purl across all of these. And we added 11 stitches plus the 17 we already had, so it should be 28. Seven, eight, awesome. Okay. And now we're going to add, we're gonna cast on 12 stitches on this side. Well, look how pretty it is looking. Okay, and now we're going to add 12 on this side. One. So now we're going to start knitting and we're going to knit 12. So my pattern is like this, this part is backwards as if it was a round. So, okay, so we're going to knit 12 over plus one, two, three, four. So we're going to knit 16, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then yarn over and continue. I'm trying to be very gentle with my new cast on stitches. The reason I do that is because it, when you cast on like this, it can look kind of wonky. So I just try to be, oh, well, that didn't work. Slow and gentle with them. When you pull too much, it, um, Gives you too much yarn and it just looks weird. You'll see what I mean. I have not been keeping up with how many I'm putting on here, but it looks like we're still in our cast on stitches, our extra ones. Sixteen, yarn over, knit two together, and then one, two. Yarn over, knit two together, one, two. Yarn over, knit two together, knit two, one. Two, yarn over, knit two together, one, two, yarn over, knit two together, one, Two, okay. 
yarn over and knit two together. And then we'll finish out the row knitting. Let's see how many. One, two, three, plus 11, so 14. Make sure we have it right. One, two, three, four, five, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, cool. Okay, so we are now on row 13. So we're going to knit down to the 12 mark and then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 across. Yarn over, knit two together. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, knit two together. Okay, and that leaves us with eleven plus one, two, three, four. Fifteen. Okay, we're gonna purl the whole back row. Okay, row fifteen, so we're going to knit twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yarn over. Knit two together. Okay. 
One, two. Yarn over, knit two together. And one, two, three, four, five plus eleven, so sixteen. Okay, pearl row 16. Oh, so I realized that I missed a stitch here when I was going because I counted 39 instead of 40 at the end. So I'm going back and, f and picking up the stitch so that I can fix that right here and now. I never put the stitches back on the knitting needle, right? But I just worry about getting them on there and not losing more stitches, so I just get them on there. And if they are the wrong way, then I worry about fixing that as I go. I just want to get them on there. And you'll know <laughs> which way is the wrong way when you're knitting. See if this is right now. Before we, oh my gosh, before we move on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Awesome. So we're back to where we need to be. All right, what I mean by you'll know is when you go to purl it, it just doesn't seem right. So that's what I mean by it'll be backwards. It's like it's that stitch should be on that side. So basically I put them, almost all of them on wrong, which I always do that. I just wanna get them on the, the needle really so so don't lose any. Anyway, so finish purling this row. 
Okay, so we're now on row 17, so we're going to knit 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Nineteen, and we're going to yarn over, knit two together. And then we're going to yarn over, knit two together. I'm going to knit the rest of that row. Let's make sure we have the right amount. One, two, three, four, five, six plus 11 is going to be 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes, here we go. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna knit 17 more. We're almost at the home stretch, guys. We are almost at a resting point, I guess you would say, like an easier point, because once we get done with this pattern part, then we're just going to do stockinette stitch um, until we get to the little shorts part. So, yes, knit this, finish knitting this, purl the next row, and then we'll be on row 19. Okay, we're on row 19. And we're going to knit 20 across, yarn over, knit two together, and then knit the rest.
and 20. Okay, yarn over, knit two together. Okay, Let's see how many we have left. So we have 11 plus 12, 13, oh my goodness, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, is that right? Yep, so we have 18 left, is what should be on here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Awesome. So we're going to knit the rest of this row. All right, so we are done with row 18. And now we are going to knit stockinette stitch. And if you don't know what that means, I will tell you. But I want to look at our work so far. Let's look at our little diamond shapes. It's going to look kind of wonky because it's all pulled over here. It's going to be so pretty. Look at that. Okay, so basically the next row we're going to purl and then knit and then purl and then knit and then purl and that's stockinette stitch. Since we are done with our pattern, we are going to continue with stockinette stitch until our romper measures eight to eight and a half inches from the bib to the bottom. And when you get to that point, meet me back here and we'll put some little shorties on it. And so the ends up and we will be done. Um, so basically with this pattern, instead of doing a front and a back like the last one that I showed you, this pattern, this is the sides and the back. So we will turn it inside out basically and sew it up. So anyway, uh, meet me back here when you get to about eight inches, eight to eight and a half inches, depending on the size you wanna do. This is really stretchy, so I do mine about eight. Um, and just meet me back here and we will continue on. Okay guys, now I'll see my work measures right about eight inches, um, maybe a little bit more. And I'm ending on, this is the, let's see. So the next row for me would be a knit row. What I'm going to do is my 10.5. So we're going to knit 20 stitches and then stop. Because so we are going to start on our legs. Well, not legs, but our shorts. Awesome. And this is where your third stick uh, or your ne third needle will come into play. Um, or you can use like a scrap yarn to hold it. I just like to use an extra needle. So what I do is I go through and I just take the stitches off. So if you have another ten and a half laying around, then you would just grab it. Um, I can't find my other ones, so I'm just going to actually just transfer to this stick right now. Sorry, needle. Okay, make sure they're all on there. I know I stop and count a lot, but I'll tell you, I've made so many mistakes before not realizing, so it's just, go ahead. it's just good to go ahead and count while you are at a certain point, you know, instead of having to go back and fix. All right, there's 20 on there. So we are good on that one. 
So now that we knit this row, we are going to purl and then knit and bind off. So we're going to have tiny little shorts. All right guys, so now we are going to bind off knit wise and I will show you how to do that. If you don't, if you already know how to do it, just go ahead and do it and start on your other leg. If you don't, here we go. So basically you knit two stitches. Then you take this stitch and put it over that stitch. Okay. Then you knit another stitch and you pull it over that stitch and you knit another stitch and you pull it over. I'm not good at this using the needle to do it. So. one here Guys, now it's time to take your yarn and put it back. to attach yarn. <clears throat> so the way we do that is we take our yarn, uh, new yarn, working yarn, put it through the, so I put it through the back thread, the back loop on your uh, first stitch. Okay. And all you have to do is tie a knot. here okay and now what I do is kind of lazy <laughs> uh, because I don't like sewing my ends in so I just knit with both of those to get rid of the excess so and you just start your knitting again that's all you have to do so anyway you will knit a row purl a row and then uh, bind off knitwise like I just showed you and meet me back here. Okay guys, so we are done with our little short part. Look at how adorable this is guys. Look at what you've made, this is so cute. Okay, so now we need to sew the back up and so basically you turn, you lay it face up and so this is the back part here, or the inside part rather. And we're going to sew down the middle first, down to the little crotch area, and then we're gonna sew the legs up a little bit. So just get enough string for this, probably maybe two feet, three feet, something like that. I know, I call it string, it's yarn.
and we just sew the little ends together that we have the last little bit where we um so oh my goodness what have i done here okay So our ends in, weave them in, back through. And then we just have to sew up this leg here. Okay, time to see our creation. I'm so excited. Look at those little legs. Oh my goodness. That is so adorable. And now we just need to make our chain uh, necktie and we are done. Or you can add ribbon, you know, whatever you want as the necktie you can add. So I'm going to chain a necktie. So I'll show you how to do that in case you want to. I'm going to double mine up. So I'm going to make mine pretty long. I'm going to make mine about seven feet long each. Take your crochet hook. And the way I like to do it is I don't like to go under the top one because then it looks kind of disjointed. So I like to go under one kind of down just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to leave my string about a foot long on this side. And I'm just going to weave it in with the... Um, with the other string. So basically, I'm just gonna put my hook in that same hole that I started with, and then take your string around that. You gotta have some tension here, but you just pull it through. And then I'm gonna chain until I'm done. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And we are done, unless you want to add some accessories to yours. Um, since we had this cute little pattern, I thought that it'd be a good idea not to add anything extra, just because we've already got something kind of design stylistic going on. But it is your, you make yours however you want to. Be creative and have fun with it. And just, you know, enjoy being able to make something.
Thank you so much for watching guys. I am so excited about this little romper. It is adorable and I was so excited to share it with you. So I am going to prep this for some pictures and I will see you guys next week. I would love it if you guys would leave in the comments um, the next project or a project you want to see uh, coming up. I do have some things that are already coming out but I would love to be able to fulfill what you guys want to know how to do and I would love for you to share with me some images that you've made of things that I've taught you how to do um, you can share it to my email jennifer at jenniferbreckheisen.com which I'll put in the uh, comment section or description and then also um, I'm going to be coming out with a new Instagram for my knitting so um, I will also be putting that in the description when I figure out the name I'm so bad with trying to name things so yeah, and then also I will put this, um, maybe I'll make it some sort of download that you could purchase or with the pattern. Um, I'm going to photocopy it so that you guys can have it some way. So anyway, um, yes, make sure and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.